welcome to another episode of the Chill Off. Today we're going to be focusing on power. I want you to take a look at the rack we've got here under test. One of the challenges in this is, of course, we're packing everything we can inside of this rack. So you've got one new servers and blades, lots of sensors and things. So it looks very clean and, and actually organized in the front of this. But take a look in the back where it gets complex. Inside this cabinet, you can see we've got a ton of data cables, and of course all the devices in the back, and then we've got the power distribution. So lots of cables, lots of sensors, and lots of data that we actually want to capture to make sure we're going to be able to report out the results on the chill off. So today, we're going to dive into one of these components called the Servitec BDU. So I'm here with Graham Leonard. He's the uh, VP of Sales and Marketing for Servitech, and don't hold that against him. I know he's a sales guy, but he's a good guy. <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking about the specifics of these devices because they're extremely important in the testing that we're doing within the chill off. You just saw them inside of a rack. We pulled it out here, and it's a little quieter, so we can actually hear what's going on. So tell me about these devices. So. We have two PDUs here, traditional A and B power feed for a server cabinet. These particular devices are 30 amp, 208 three phase units. Mm -hmm. So we have two in feeds. It can also be available in 60 amp three phase uh -huh. or 415 volt 32 amp. So we're getting 11 kilowatts or 22 kilowatts into a cabinet. Gotcha. Okay. Typical unit, we're going to break it down into different uh, branches. So in this case, for the three phases, we also have three branches of eight outlets. And, and again, it's basically these are the branches, right? The chunks are coming up in here, and you've got... Absolutely. So we've got overcurrent protection for, yep. for each branch, okay. either fuse or circuit breaker, mm -hmm. and different combinations of outlets, right. C13 or C19 outlets per mm -hmm. branch. In this case, we've got six C13s and two C19s. Gotcha. Okay. And then as we go up the stack here, so three different uh, branches. Three different branches, and in this case, uh, each associated with the phase. Okay. And so we're providing a single LED for each phase. So okay. three LEDs per unit, mm -hmm. and we're giving you the phase load in amperage on each of the displays. Okay. And so you visually can see it, but then it looks like you've got other devices here to make it intelligent. Absolutely. So we've got, in addition, we're linking two units together. Uh -huh. So through a single IP address, you can see both A and B power feed okay. within the cabinet. Saving IP address is good. We've got a serial connection, and we've got a network connection so that you can view all of the data available on the unit. And the unit itself, this is all SNMP, right? So it's open protocol. You can gather whatever you want. From Completely that. open. Okay, and then you've got what on the top? We also incorporate the ability to measure temperature and humidity through a single probe. So gotcha. each probe is both temperature and humidity on a 10 foot or 3 meter lead that you can place anywhere you want within the equipment cabinet. Okay, and associated with the cabinet itself. Mm -hmm. All right, and then um, what's the overall power that we can get within these PDUs? So you talked about we've got 30 amp. So this days. one we've got an L22, uh, excuse me, L2130 connection okay. on it. Yep. So we're getting about 11.6 kilowatts max. Per PDU at 208. At 208. Okay. So, and if we go up and that, we can get a 60 amp or something bigger. You can go to 60 amp and get 20, uh, just over 21 kilowatts. Okay. At 208. At 208. Or you can go to 415 volt three phase and okay. get 22 kilowatts through a 30 amp architecture. Right. 32 amp. Right. 32. 30 amp domestically, 32 amp internationally. Gotcha. All right. Good. So there's a lot of power we can get from this. Okay. Well, what about the accuracy? So the accuracy at an individual outlet level mm -hmm. is plus or minus 2%. Okay, so, and, and this is really important because what we care about is I want to know what every server is drawing, uh, whether it's at idle state or whether it's going through the different workloads that we're throwing onto it. So the prerequisite from this was the PDUs need to be able to say every outlet can actually give us the data we want, mm -hmm. right? And not only every outlet, but also a device. Mm -hmm. So through our linking of the two units together, yeah. we can go in and group outlets together, okay. any combination, across the outlets, across the same PDU, gotcha. whatever you want to do. So this is now for a server, I can have an A and B feed, and I can now measure there what the overall consumption is for the server. As a total power draw for that device. Right, which is great because now I can turn off one of the power supplies and see how efficient it is with one, and then mm -hmm. what happens with two because a lot of them lose it with that, right? Yes. And then what are we reading? What what data are we gathering out of this? So at the individual outlet level, yep. we're picking up current and amps. Okay. 
We've got apparent power. We're looking at power factor. Okay. And that is all coming through your, your display. Gotcha. Okay. And all that data is rolling back up. Uh, what we care about, of course, is what the IT load is on the servers and how it varies within the different tests that we're running on top of it. So we also okay. get voltage. So okay. you've got what the real kilowatt draw is per power supply. Okay. And well, also in this unit, we've got individual outlet control. So you do have on-off capabilities gotcha. as well, okay. remotely. Okay. And that on-off is not just at an outlet level, yep. but again, through the same grouping functionality, mm -hmm. you're able to send a command to a single device one time, shut it off, reboot it, whatever that functionality is. Gotcha. So it really doesn't want to matter what device is on the other end. You've got full control here. So you're putting the intelligence in the PDU so we can gather the data whether the service is intelligent or not. Mm -hmm. Right? So we can get everything we need. And I think that's really important inside of this because a full picture of the data center is what we need to get. So we can make decisions about what's inefficient, right? What is actually very efficient from workload or any other component. Okay. And, and if you look at what the green grid is saying now, yep. okay, so if they go all the way to level three monitoring for sure. PUE, you're going to need that information right down to the outlet level. Gotcha. So level three is the outlet, and level two is the actual feed. Level two, you know, so in addition to those same readings at the outlet level, yeah. we also measure those readings at the power in feed level. Got it. Okay. And if somebody wanted to just go to a level two monitoring within their data center, yeah. they could take a unit without the individual outlet readings and just take a unit that was taking it at the power in feed level. Okay, great. So and this one's giving both. So it's basically complying with the green grid's requirements for um, how to measure so you can have accurate PUE. Absolutely. Right? Which is great. Um, now tell me um, how many points, you know, what, what is it? How, how intelligent are these devices? So there are several hundred, over 600 point uh, data collection points per PEU. Okay, that's everything from the temp to humidity all the way back down to individuals. All the different five factors per right. outlet times okay. the number of outlets. Yeah. Okay, and let's talk about your architecture because, you know, this is one component inside of the data center. It's gathering lots of information about the servers that, that are plugged into it. Um, but what does that roll up into? So, obviously it's a lot of data. Data center is going to have multiple cabinets. Sure. So typically, what we see is we'll drop one of our appliances in. Gotcha. Which, As we can see in this diagram, right? So here you've got a bunch of the cabinets. All the cabinets feeding up across mm -hmm. your your network connectivity. Yep. And we're going to gather all of those IP connection points into a database. Okay. And that database is literally a an appliance. It is. It is one of your appliances. It is. Okay. And how many devices can be um, controlled off that single appliance? Over a thousand IP addresses can be brought into a single appliance and okay. we can scale from there. You can scale from there. Okay, yeah. but the point is it aggregates all that data. Provides a single point of yeah. interface okay. and aggregates all that data essentially into usable information. Gotcha. Instead of just collecting a data point for a single outlet, mm -hmm. what I'm really interested in is what's my data for a device. Absolutely. Okay, and then from the architecture, now we can go back and say from that appliance, but it's gathering 600 points worth of data from each PDU across how many of the racks there are in the data center. That's a lot of data. Uh, but it can go to the building management system for reporting. Absolutely. Open okay. API, open yep. database from that perspective. So okay. we will export that information to pretty much any third-party system that's gotcha. looking at IT assets, power management, capacity planning. Okay. Whatever somebody's view is to the data center. Right, and this is, so we're using OSI Soft, which is actually collecting all this data. It's a mountain of data. And um, here's the architecture for OSI Soft. You can see where now the PDUs are being directly connected to that, right, to mm -hmm. be able to gather the data. So whether it's going to your database or whether it's going direct to some other database, it doesn't matter. The point is it's open and they're intelligent. Okay, now what do you do with all that data, <laughs> right? I mean, yep. <laughs> if you think about it, What's challenging here is we've got so many points that we're capturing inside of this. We need a pretty powerful lens in the back. That's what OSIsoft is doing. But look at this data. Look at this is just one of the snapshots of all the different servers in this test for a single cabinet, and everything is being fed back into this uh, this report generator from the PDUs, right, and other points within the data center, the chilled water loops, and all that type of thing. But the, the key is the intelligence is here, and what you do with it. How are you going to convert yeah. all of that data? Mm -hmm. And how are you guys using that to make business decisions? Yeah, and, and that's the ultimate answer everybody's looking for, right? I, we need intelligence all the way back down to that level. So um, first off, thank you very much for all of your work. I Our appreciate pleasure. your help in all of this. We can't do this without uh, all the vendors' participation. And uh, this is great data. We've been very open for that. So stay tuned for additional updates on the chill-off. And thanks again. Thank you.